are going to be making uh, hand soap and a body wash because I can't find any that are not ridiculously expensive for, uh, you know, no chemical type allergy, so I'm going to make my own. I saw this on Pinterest and it is just a bar of soap and water. Oh, gross. Don't, don't mind the egg splatter. So I've got my water on. This is half a gallon of water with a tablespoon of coconut oil. It's hot here all the time so my coconut oil is already melted. Um, if it's not, just scoop out a tablespoon and drop it in, in there. So that's going and I'm supposed to add the soap when that is just about to boil but not quite boiled. So I'm going to you need to grate this up. You could use a normal cheese grater but since I have a food processor I am just going to use it because that's what things are for. And I've got it on the smaller setting, so... Okay, so there is the soap. It was much harder to grate than I thought it would be, so I'm really glad I didn't try this by hand because that would have sucked. Um, I also have a couple of containers over here. I've got a pickle jar, a ball jar, and then a Bath and Body Works lotion jar. I'm going to put the body wash in here and extra soap in here. This guy, I feel like, is almost boiling, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my soap in there. Here goes the soap. Soap, 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 soap. So, this is going to be a two-day project, which I didn't realize. But, I'm going to grab some sort of a stirring implement for this. I think I will just go with my trusty big wooden spoon. Oh look, it's already like melting. Hmm, this is a quick project. Well, I mean other than the wait time. Okay, that looks pretty much stirred up to me. I don't see any more chunks in the water. So that was like maybe five minutes of stirring. Maybe. And now I just let it sit for the next 24 hours or so. I'm just going to scoot this onto the back burner, turn that off, find my lid. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a lid on it so that no flies or anything gets in there. And leave that for 24 hours. So. I guess now I'm just going to clean up these and put the jars away for now. Hi you guys, it's day two and I think it's been about 24 hours, so I think it's about the same time as it was yesterday, and we are going to whip this. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Sorry for the weird noises, you guys know I'm weird. Um, so it says that it smells really good, that's what it says. Uh, it says that it might be quite thick, and <laughs> I would say that is, oh my god. Boing, boing, boing. That's quite thick. I might wind up adding more water. Uh, this is... <laughs> I don't have any words for how disgusting this feels. Um, no, no words at all, actually. But they say that you're supposed to whisk it. This would be easier if I had an electric mixer, but I don't until it all... Uh, okay, well it doesn't look... it looks like it's almost like separated. I might have to heat this back up and then try doing it again. Let me uh, put you down and I'm gonna mix this for a while and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Okay, I'm not even kidding you guys. They said it might wind up looking like snot, but this is much, much worse than snot. This is like an alien. This is the texture I think that an alien is going to be. Weird, oh, slimy alien. I don't even think that this would pump through a jar. You know, for like soap, hand soap, the point of this. Maybe I just haven't whisked it enough. 
Okay, it seems to me that the answer is more whipping. This is seriously disgusting. Uh, everybody online that does this seems to have one of those immersion blender things, and I do not. So I'm trying to think what I want to do. Do I want to pop this in the food processor? Do I want to pop it in the blender? I just want to do this by hand for a while here. I don't know. I'm just going to whip it for a while and we'll see what, what happens. Okay, so that whisk is not working, so I'm breaking out my secret weapon. This was actually my grandma's. It's missing the uh, little black handle part, but it still worked really well. This is the only electric beater that I have, and as you can probably tell, it's not electric at all. All right, I got it set up. All right, that is a lot more liquidy, and I think I'm gonna call that good, and uh, we're gonna put it in containers now. All right, container under the thing. I don't think this was a good way to do it, but oh well. Look. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that still is absolutely disgustingly textured. Ew. I do not know if I will be doing this again because this texture is really disgusting. I don't know how I am going to use this as a body wash because this is... I don't know if you guys have done this before. Tell me if I did something wrong and it's not supposed to be this disgustingly textured because I don't think I'm going to be able to handle this not texture here. I might be able to, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I need a funnel, and I don't think I own one. Do I own a funnel? Do I own a funnel? I don't think so. My camera battery apparently died. My hands were covered in nasty, nasty soap. So on the one hand, I'm kind of happy that it uh, shut off because you didn't have to see that. Getting this stuff into jars was... Yeah. That was gross. I don't want to talk about it. But let's uh let's do a texture test, shall we? Blah. Well, it suds nicely. It smells really good. And it doesn't feel like snot once you get it on your hands. Uh kind of. But not bad. Not as not anywhere as bad as I thought. I think I can wash my body with the body wash. Hand soap body wash, whatever, same, same. Yeah, all right, so maybe this isn't a complete fail. I thought that this video was gonna be an absolute fail and I would tell you never to try this, but um, yeah, I think that was an electric mixer. This would go a lot smoother. And yeah, that rinses off really nicely, really fast. Doesn't leave your hands feeling dry or anything. So this was one bar, Yardley bar of coconut butter soap and half a gallon of water. So, voila! I have made something. If you want to see more of these DIY videos where it's like raw and real instead of something practiced, let me know. Or if you think, uh, God, you were a fucking train wreck, Sarah, can you please try the recipe out first and then film it a second time so it's better? Also let me know. I promise I won't be offended. <laughs> I promise. Anyways, you guys, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.